What's up guys? So finally, yesterday is done with. I must say it has been like one of the worst days in a long time besides just YouTube, but um so the Great Plates video pretty much on the night I was recording it, I've spent around four hours trying to fix the corrupted parts. And then you know, shortly in the morning Apparently the last 15 minutes was a red screen, which I overlooked. So I had to take the video down and right after work ended up editing that, re-rendering it and uploading it, which ended up taking another three hours. So that video, it took seven hours for a mess and I'm honestly so disappointed on how it went down. So I hope like that never happens again because honestly, like it was a video everyone looked forward to, even me. And it just got completely ruined. But anyway, in case people didn't want to watch it, because I understand, like, there wasn't really too much to watch. I think, like, only 3,000 keys were shown and already passed all the pulls. So almost half the video was audio. But this is what 3,500 keys in one day got. Uh, I posted in my Discord. I added new channels for Naruto Online since information can get lost in one. So I put a guide on how to beat RNG, well, at least the way I do it, because this game's RNG is never fair. So 3,500 keys in one day got me all that. Now, some someone ended up getting 3,000 oils completely, like not even just spending rebate, but from the Great Plates event. Uh, so it's like RNG really differs in this, and... I will next time, if I do great plates, I will spend 500 keys a day and keep track of that for a video. Um, and we'll, I will eventually compare from the first time I did 3,500 keys in one day to 500 a day. I feel like there is a cap because in the last maybe 1,300 keys, I did not get a single ninja fragment. And it's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. So there is like a cap for stuff. So after, and that happened to me after like two thousand keys. That's when I got capped off from frags. But overall, I got a ton of good stuff. I mean, I got like a thousand moods, which full price is fifteen k, and discounted is like probably ten k or something. So the value is there for thirty five k. You get more than enough. Plus, with all these items, you still need to realize that you get like eighty frags of whatever ninja, which it was right Kage this time. So the event was really good. Um, this event cycle, it's another surprise. I mean, we are going down the release for Edo Jin Shirikis, which is nice. And Edo Yagura, he is the best Edo Jin Shiriki out of all of them. Uh, it seems like this is the buffed version. Now, what I want to go over is that if he was unbuffed, then he would be chasing twice per round or instead of three. And his mystery would be a two-round battlefield cooldown. But it says here his chase can be triggered up to three rounds. And I'm assuming his mystery is a one battlefield cooldown. So what makes Edo uh, Yagura the best Jun Chiriki? Well, in China, they have themselves a pretty much a breakthrough battle with like Raikage's. And Raikage is ridiculous over there. So Edo Yagura came in. And pretty much shits on him. Now, because his mystery suppresses the immunity to status caused by chase attacks. So his immunity stops super armor. Which we know Raikage has super armor. And uh, since he chases three times in acupunctures. Plus he scales for every time he chases. And his mystery skill cooldown is reduced by one. You put him position one and you'll be able to pretty much. You will mystery every single round. If you can chase three times. So that's why he's the instant super armor counter. Now, this would be the case for... Um, what's his name? Susano Itachi. And in the team idea that I was uh, going to run, um, it would work out. But, it, yeah, you're not going to be able to really acupuncture Itachi before that happens. But you will be able to stop him, which would be a good thing. So it's it's pretty crazy. Uh, I kind of want to end up picking him up. I'll have to see throughout the week. But yeah, he's a fun Jin Shiriki to mess around with. It's really disrespectful though. They released an Edo Yagura buff, but Roshi gets no love. I mean, 
he came unbuffed. And I'm pretty sure if he was buffed, he'd be like super overpowered because he gives you chakra back for every Jinchiriki mystery. Uh, his, his barrier takes a nerf. And honestly, I don't think he would get buffed until Fu enters the game because her barrier is the pretty much ninjutsu side. So uh, Roshi's buff ends up taking away the ninjutsu buff. It's kind of funny. It's not really much of a buff, but his mystery becomes a 60 chakra cost and he starts getting chakra for every time Jinchiriki's mystery, which is really good. But if a buffed Edo Roshi was a thing, then you would see him in like every single Kurama Naruto team because you wouldn't need to run Chakra Wall anymore. It'd be it'd be really good. But yeah, it's it's still like you know he's the only he they released him first and they didn't release him buffed. So who knows what's gonna happen? But Edo Yagura, so that means Edo Yugito should be the next one. Uh, and I would say she's the second best because she's basically a better Han. So that's, that's what makes it really good, but uh, I did get the right Kage. I got my OG Mudbone, Red Awakened yesterday. And yes, if you didn't see the Great Place video, I finally pulled Han, or not Han, Sasori, in 300 seals. Um, so I got him 4 star and I have 90 frags left over to 200. This is why I did not end up recruiting him. Because I wanted to keep the frags and I was in no rush to use them. So now I can finally try out Edo Sasori teams. Uh, Edo Hiruzen comes to mind and Kashimaru finally. So I can try out those two whenever I get the chance. Um, Raikage. I don't have Samui. <laughs> I don't have his father. So when it comes to the Cloud Ninja treasure, I am probably like 80 to 90 seals away from finishing both. But I don't know if I really want to do it because I'm on the road to Madara. I mean, I, I did only pull 300 in, so I need at least like another 600. But yeah, you know, taking away 90 seals from Madara is not something I'd like to do, probably. Uh, and I am working on Hashirama, which I started 28 seals, or 28 frags, and got 11 from 300. So, you know, by the time I get Madara, I should be over 50. Now, I should be like... Maybe 60 frags, honestly, if I can get 11 again. So, it is really early into the server. Um, what What is there? Okay, so, Edo Yagura pops up in the Konoha Great Tree event, which is something I want to probably spin into by the end. They put oil on level 3, which is nice. So, oil is a new thing here. Advanced res, I honestly can't remember if that was in there. Advanced claws, that shit needs to go. But Mass Man Frags on level 4. Sonate Sanin Era in 5 with Kakazu online. Tobirama Edo Tensei here in level 6 with Sasuke and Hokage Tsunade. And then level 7 is Susano Itachi. There was a time where Susano Itachi was on 6 and 7. And now he's only 7. Like, come on. But, um, yeah, when it comes to the shop itself, Yagura is. Honestly, I'm liking it. They, they did a good decision for once. So I have to applaud them. But uh, these are the prices for the events. Now, Yagura being around 10k for twenty or for 80 frags, 25 points each. Then you have Edo Tobiram, which actually took a price down. I mean, he was like 45 each, and they put him at 40 each now. So instead of costing 80, 18k, he costs 16k around for 80 frags. Hinata Dream World, 4k for 80 frags, which I don't have actually. Uh, she would just be for collection. Silk Outfit, this actually seems way cheaper than it used to be. I think it used to be 25 each. It is 5k coupons or ingots, and it is probably like the second best outfit in the game, but it doesn't show in battle. And then Char Material Packs and Coins. If you do look into the description below, there is a event calculator that Kashu made. And it pretty much, you would just have to save it to your Google Drive, and you can edit that. And you put basically, all you have to do is change price per fragments and how many fragments you want, and it's going to tell you the money value as well as the amount of coupons or ingots it's going to take for that. So it's very very useful to use. Uh, I like I like Konoha Great Tree for the thousand, but I've only done it once for Hokage Minato. And... Um, yeah, I would not reach that this event cycle. Simply because there's not enough selection. Like Yagura would be something I get. So that's 10k. 
uh, Dream World Hinata just to have her would be 4k. Even if I 4 star Tobirama, it'd be like, I don't know, 3 to 4k maybe. So I'd be like 2k short. I could actually do it though. I could probably just spend it into charm packs and, and cave keys. But this week, there already is something else on my mind. And that is the Cave Exploration Rebate. Now, I want to max this uh, simply because I need to raise power from this. This is... Runestones are something I really need to invest in. So, I will be going into this one. And, yeah, it's going to cost a lot because I only have 629 keys. And I'll have to recharge and buy 1400 and max that, so... It is going to be expensive, but there is a surprise on today's video. Something that nobody was expecting, not even me when I logged in this morning. So, oh, 50, 50 try your lucks, and this is not a surprise either. But, Treasure of the Sage, I'm trying, I want to get contracting scrolls. Uh, I'm, I know they sell the deer scroll here, but is there any way to buy a full, like, like can I buy contracting scrolls here? Because if there is a way to buy contracting scrolls, then I would force this out. But Giant Katsu Breakthrough Stones are here. You know, they need to really start selling all the other seven Mystery Stones because Nagamachu Round 2 would be nice when you fully max it out. Red Chakra Pack, Saw 300 Puppets, Awesome Windblade, Sage Naruto, Jiraiya, Danzo. Still waiting for Akatsuki Orochimaru though. Like, you have all these ninjas, and you can't put it at Katsuki or Chimaro. Mass Man, Regular Kushina, Joni Minato, Anvu Outfit. Did they take out the Deer Scroll? Am I missing something? I'm pretty sure the Deer Scroll was advertised in the freaking news page. Is, is it something you can no longer obtain? Orange Ninja Tools Pack? I swear they took out the Deer Scroll. Huh, it's not even in here anymore. Alright, well, I still need to get myself eight contracting scrolls somehow, and the game needs to sell them, so... Get to get to work with that shit. Uh, Talonade Shop, this has literally been killed, and it's not gonna get better. I feel like Miyaboku gifts are new, I don't think I've seen these before here. But Advanced Threads were here, Guy's Tortoise was here, Blue Essence was here, Summoning Scrolls were here. I feel like Purification Runes used to be here. And they, they replaced that with me and Boku Gifts. So that's better. That's better. But this is like the only event to grab QB frags from, which I probably would. Uh, when you realize this shit, though, it's expensive. I mean, 700... So 10 frags will be 7k spent. And um, I'd probably spend like almost 20k this event cycle. Maybe a little... Like 25k if I go for Yagura and that. So I'd be able to get myself 40 frags? And is this is this shit right or does this seem too cheap i'm probably doing this wrong it is really early and i i only slept for two hours and i was drinking before that so uh, <laughs> it's not good but yeah i am 60 away from four star so i want to get as many qb frags as i can uh gift pack special okay plan and recharge now the one good thing they did is so they they ended up i think raising the price it was like 3k it's like 3k ingots daily or something like that. Or it was like 2.5k and then Hokage Minato and Edo Deidara became a selection and they made it to 3k. Now I think it's like 3500 because of uh, Susanoo Itachi. But since then, they have added a gold essence, which makes this worth it. So, and they also lowered it from 7 to 5 days, so it's not too bad. I mean, it's still 3500 to 70 a day, so that's, that's freaking 350 when you think about it over 5 days. But gold essence... You get yourself Daedra and Minato. Uh, I'm going to go for Minato frags until I have 50 left over. Because in case they ever do a breakthrough and they decide to make him extinct again, I'm not waiting 12 months to get a super breakthrough. So I'd rather waste towards fifth, like 40 more Minato frags and hold on to them. Just in case that ever happens. And then I will end up simply going for Daedra with the remainder. So I should get basically half. Um... You have 15 cave keys from here. Even like five days is only a little bit, so it's not going to save you too much. Guy Gate of Joy, Kakashi Anbu, Killer B. Now, the funny thing is, Guy Gate of Joy is a BP reward from China. I mean, all you have to do is reach certain BP requirements, and they give you up to four star for free. Here, 
Well, they still sold him, even for the base version. Like, they don't even give us a two-star for free, let alone three-star. And then four-star is not even in the game, but I'll be the Hirodora guy. So, Kakashi Ambo having five-star, Killer B having four-star. Killer B is the cheapest one out of all of them, though. I, I know Guy Gate of Joy is more expensive. To be honest, I'd probably rather go for Guy Frags in this than, than anything else, because Killer B is 100 for 3k, and the guy is like RNG half the time or holds up to like 4 to 5k, so... Even if we do get his frags later on, I'd rather get the 3-star version now so he can actually be tried out in certain teams since he gets the extra passive. And uh, Sun Seals, 1 Charm Material Pack and 20 coupons a day, so... Uh, I'm gonna be doing this because I need ingots, I gotta buy cave keys and I'll be thinking throughout the week if I wanna get Edo Yagura. Alright, so, 3500 a day. This is gonna be, I don't know, like, I I don't like it because I don't really care for a 5-star Edo Deidara. And then Hokage Minato is just to stack up the extra frags, so, I wish that these packs had, you know, three choices. Like, this one has three choices. Why can't the, the Platinum Recharge Pack 1 that's more expensive end up having three choices too? And this is honestly the same as the one from before Itachi was a thing, so they really should have changed it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Gold Essence itself is going to be really good. So that's one Gold Essence from here that I'll be getting. I will also be getting two from the Weekly Jackpot because... If you're a whale, the only thing you get is the freaking shit that's guaranteed. Uh, oh, I'm forgetting one thing, but Donzo's breakthroughs are here now. Okay, before we get ahead of ourselves, I always spin 100 into this. Some people spin like two or three times. This is where I've said in videos on why pills are worth 5,600. Because if you have the worst possible RNG, RNG, you spin max and it costs 5,600 for a pill. Now, is it worth 5,600 a pill? Not unless you're like the top 1% of the game. So it's not something you should do, but if you're ever at that point where you need to be an overachiever, is it too late? You can't even release lanterns this early. It opens up when, when events do, I guess. Uh, summon a rebate, okay, so. Okay, daily purchase summon, this is actually good. One seal for 88 each a day. Like, I want to I wanna buy these. So, uh, I'm going to stock up on seals. So, daily purchase limit is good for that one thing. Summon rebate, though. I got to do that. Cave keys. I won't be able to do cave keys today. It'll be a separate video on a different day because you can't buy... You cannot buy that many keys in one day. I mean, I would need, like, 15k anyway. But you can only buy 10 packs a day. So... Uh... What was I going to go over? I think spa okay, space time is tonight. This started up again. The rankings for the auto space time. Space time tonight. Jack against Conan. Vara against Black Dragon. I'm going to record these fights. And what I'm doing is I've been recording space time fights, but I'm going to piece them all together into one video simply because it's just, I don't know, like space time fights are hit or miss. It's really difficult to record them because people decide to not, not show up or... Some fights happen while other fights are going on. But I will now show you the surprise. So, I did, I was able to get like 11 frags from last week's missions. So I'm 8 away from Joni Minato. And today, I didn't expect this at all either. But Minato, I got him to bond level 20. Which I think 20 is the max level. So all Minato forms get all these nice juicy bonuses. <laughs> I need to stop that. Uh, and you buy... I, I kept I keep buying gifts and basically just kept feeding all of them to him. I didn't care. And um, level 20 is the max, which rewards me with a mission. And that mission gives me 10 fragments. So I was able... I think like you get like 20 to 30 frags of Joni Minato from level 20 bonds in total. And uh, yeah, basically I'm, I was able... I'll be able to finally finish Joni Minato without having to seriously spend. Uh, I got like, I don't know, I pieced them over for the past couple of months of just spending here and there, but yes, finally on today's video, I will be able to finish Joni Minato 
and recruit him. So, for those of you who keep asking me about Joey Minato, he is finally here. Now, I don't know when I'll be able to use him. There's definitely a, a couple of teams that instantly come to mind. Like, full dodge teams are going uh, Susano Itachi and whatever it is. Mass Man and Joni. But I will need to get him Red Awakened. Also, as you guys saw from the Ray Plates video, I don't need to worry about moves for a long time. It's 160 for a 65% mood. And this can almost cover 10 ninjas. <laughs> so it's uh, it's really good. But Joni Minato will be on my list to, to awaken and stuff. You know, I, I could like su super, super increase my ninja collection this week. But I've been literally focusing power for the past month. I mean, it's, it's why I ended up being as strong as I am now. A 190k power. You know, I said I'd be like 200k by December a few months ago. And then... Here I'll probably end up being 200k in July, if things go good. So, yeah, I mean, Cave Key Rebate itself should probably push me another 2-3k power. It depends on the amount of 11s I can make, because that's really all I'm focusing, but... Ninja-wise, yeah, we got them Pokemon collectors, but 164. I would need four more ninjas to, to tie for fourth. And, um... You know, it is definitely achievable. Like right now, if I just said fuck it, and I pulled Cloud Ninja Treasure, it's 180 or 166. This bum needs to still come out from that stupid freaking treasure because I didn't pull him. You're overpriced. You, I'm waiting for you to come out in an event that's not bad. I, I was honestly hoping for Shinobi Feast and Wheel of Fortune because I need to buy advanced refines. And Wheel of Fortune is amazing. I always spend 10k into it. So I wanted to get... Wheel of Fortune, and hopefully they put like a 20 to 30 frags of Konohamaru or some shit like that. And hopefully you get like a 3 star, let alone a 4 star from that. That would be amazing. But Yagura I might get, so that that would, that would push me like 167. Hinata would have been 168. And then, uh, you know, right, Orishimaru, like, boy, you've been 3, you were 3k in February and you're still not here. That shit is so tilting, but yeah, you guys keep asking about my uh, Awakens. So I have. About a hundred ninjas red, and I have less than sixty, or like around sixty that are gold, and then that's pretty much been the journey to getting everyone red awakened. <laughs> but I will also be doing eight gates. Some I'll be recording it sometime this weekend, and the video should be out sometime next week. So eight gates is finally happening. Um. Oh, yeah, what do I have? I'm gonna save all these packs for the last day. I still have all these explosive heart gift packs, which will probably end up just getting turned into data row frags later on. Um, I have been working on elemental resistances, so my power goes back and forth. Oh, I also fixed ninja tools. Um, I had, you know, it, it was a real rip though. I had the paper shuriken. Back when it was better than the Tailed Beast Shuriken. And I had the Tatsuko Blade, I think. Which was better than the Shichi Seiken at the time. But I figured since I'm going Elemental Resistances, I'll need to ditch them anyway. So I did. I replaced them. And I am... I finished Fire Resistance, which really helps out from my Wind and just taking hits from Uchiha's. So Fire Resistance is maxed out. Uh, wind Resistance should be maxed out today. And then I don't know what to work on besides water. Like, <clears throat> water if just is like probably Kisame is the only ninja that you fight that's really water these days. Um, I mean, yeah, he should have like... Yeah, his, his attacks are water. So that would help out against Kisame damage, I guess. And uh, Earth, honestly, not, I don't know what comes to mind besides... Oh, here is a mystery and everything. Now... The thing with elemental resistance is, is it makes you perform better in fights, but you do lose BP because of it. And uh, I feel like the BP loss is worth it, personally, because taking 20% less from all resistances. If this was the golden 1.0 days, then you'd be able to have 40% resistances, but you know. Uh, Germany should be getting a new TI with 5.0, so hopefully Kai TI comes out there. And when it does come out here, we get ourselves 1.0 tools back. But anyway, let's uh, let's actually go through 
today's video. So I do want to go for Edo Yager. I know Kapow is going to probably go for him. I want to try him out too in, in a team. Bringing Edo Yager and Roshi together. And um, yeah, so uh, I got to do summon really anyway. So let's see this. I mean, just got to use them up because, oh yeah, where the fuck is my crustacean at? That's a, and that's another thing. Also, Wheel of Fortune would give me Unbound Runes, which I need. You know, I have the Lightning Tiger scroll, but I gotta get up to here to use it. And then I still need the 20 Contracting Scrolls when I have 12. So Summons, I gotta go down to 430. And then I gotta probably use a couple more. So we'll see. Let's see. Let's see if we get anything. Okay. I mean, at this point, dupes are gonna be rare. Ooh, rune. I mean, honestly, I'd rather get runes than freaking pet dupes for golds because it's gonna get exchanged for it anyway. So give me all the runes. Don't give me summons anymore. And an eight span bird. Like I'm waiting for the day I pull like a second king of hell dupe because a king of hell dupe happened, and then um. And then I'm waiting for Deadpool carrying dupes because summon scrolls are always indispensable when you spend this much and this way into the game. But I'll be using points for runes and working on that. Deer. Okay. And then 20 more. Oh, whoa. Tri triple? Triple flip? Not like it was... The rune is nice. But everything else, not so not so nice. So yeah, I'll be spending 200 mil on 8 gates throughout the week. Uh, it's going to take a while to record and edit, but it is something I wanted to do. It would give a good power. I'm going to fix up some runes across all my ninjas, and then I'll, I'll end up uh, working position 1 runes. So summon rebate is taken care of. And get some unbound rune packets. I wish we had the German one where it's like, it oh, goes up to five hundred, and you can technically get uh, eighty frags of the crustacean. Like that's that's what's nice about it. But you know we're we're not gonna get that rebate. So gotta go back down to four thirty. So twenty five. And a katsu. I swear I've gotten the most is katsu from dupes. And the deer. Those runes take a lot of experience. Like people that have maxed out summon runes, goddamn. I think even if I use all my summon scrolls, because that's the issue. The rebate comes around. I always get like more than a hundred per month from just spending naturally, and my seals just or my summons just keep staying up there. I wish you could convert them into seals or something, but. Summoning cultivation. I gotta work on that deer. Not deer. Lightning Tiger King. Which I might be able to get one point up. Next week is probably gonna be Wheel of Fortune with Shinobi Feast. Unless they skip it. So I can get that one. It starts getting really expensive. Oh yeah, I'm doing 200 mil coins, not 300 mil. Because I keep one-upping the 8 kids video every time I do it. And, uh, you know, jumping from whatever I did, 150 mil or something, 115, whatever, whatever it was, to 200 mil is good enough. If I have to go for, if I have to do more than that, then that's just going to be too much. But let me buy these cave key gift packs. This one's so good because you get level five runes, which I'm hoping to get initiatives. And, um... Lucky key pack. This one's good as well. But 900 each. I actually might need might need more than two days. I don't know. Might need more, but I gotta buy these out for today and wait for it to reset. So that is that is cave keys for today. 88 each. Let's hope for the good luck. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> four combos and four controls, one injury, one crit, not even one initiative. 
God damn. Honestly, like, those packs still go better than my freaking cave key pulls. So I have 1,500. I'll need to buy... Like, six packs? Six, seven? Yeah. So... That shit's still a lot, though, when you think about it. I thought I only have to, like, spend 15k. I have to spend more than that. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow I should probably have exactly enough to do Mysterious Cave Keys. So I'll do that as tomorrow's video. And uh, I'll be pulling into that. Getting two gold essences. Third one will be from Platinum Recharge. Uh, with the Treasure Tool, I'll be going for... I'll be maxing out position run rope from now on. So I'm gonna go for, it's gonna take two. It's gonna take two gold essences to max my crit. And then the next time I get another gold essence, I'll have to go for injury. And I don't know if I would go for like 16 life or do I just stack it for like 17 for crit and injury. I think 17 is max. So I should be able to find out tomorrow what the experience is. It's probably going to be like double, like 5k or something crazy. If it's double, then I'm going to go for 16 on life. Because the initiative boost in life wouldn't be too bad then. But we got ourselves 1,500 keys now. Time I'm in the shop, just to show my QB frags. Uh, he's been really difficult to obtain. And at 40 out of 100... I really want to get that 4 star just because it looks so fucking good. And then I, I can actually afford to move him because this was from the last time I used him and I used up all my seals. Or not seals, moods. Minato, I forgot, I think I forgot to not to cultivate him. Cultivations are running kind of low. I, I wanted to eventually cultivate every single ninja that I have. But then I realized you, you don't get as many cultivation runes as you used to get from the old survival trial. So I save it for new ninjas and ninjas that I use. So this way I don't run out. Because if I was to go for everything, I'd run out. But 164 seals. I need 100 more for next month's end of the month rebate. Which I will try to get. I'll probably have to start forcing great plates like every two months. I don't know. But I really want to get myself uh, that moderate. So if I can do another 300 this month, the next month... Well, no, it's already going to be next month. So July is the month I'm talking about. And uh, August would be the month where I get Madara. So that's that's going to be exciting. So I wonder how much power I'll increase from that. I do have a team idea for tonight. I'll be running Earth main though. So I'll need to switch, but all these runes. But yeah, if you guys want to pick up Edo Yagara, definitely take advantage of him. I will say he's really good, especially if you fight against super armors like Raikage. He already gets countered by Mask Man, uh, so it's like it's already overkill enough. But if you run a Yagura position one, he's 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 just really good. For, he only hits single target mystery wise, by the way. He doesn't hit a team, so he's situational and you know he honestly he shits he would shit on an uh, Angel Kona and if you're faster, so. And as long as he's not running Flower Guard. But yeah, would definitely stop Angel Conan since it stops Super Armor. But I feel like that is everything for today's video. Okay, last thing to talk about is going to be July sign in is a freaking Great Ninja War Conqueror. Which, funny enough, Great Ninja War Conqueror, I've not seen him release in so long for whatever it is. But when I first started the game in August 2016, he was the monthly sign-in for that. It was either August or September he was the monthly sign-in. I think it was September. Because I remember him... Yeah, I don't know. It, it, was, it was one of them. I'm pretty sure. But I remember him being like the first sign-in reward that we got 80 frags of. So that's going to be all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, take advantage of great trees because the prices got lowered. Platinum recharge is good. I'll be doing it. Uh, cave key rebate is also really good. Always do 10, 50 keys at a time so you get yourself a gold essence. Do your summon rebate as well. And uh, I forgot to claim this, so I can get myself 
10, 20, no, not even 20 right now. 12 more frags. Yeah, I could be getting common essences, which 10 equals to purple. So I could have gotten like three. Or advanced res, but not fuck it, I don't care. I want QB. And he's really limited in events, so. Uh, 48 frags more, and I'll get him. Which I don't know how I would ever end up getting QB, but. One day, I will finish him four star. So, that's all for today's video. Catch you guys next time. Stay free to play.